There is a solar eclipse on April 20th at the very latest degree of Aries. I understand it as being the second new moon in Aries, but other astrologers are saying that it's in Taurus square Pluto, which, yeah, it is after um, a couple hours, the moon is going to move into Taurus and then it's going to square Pluto, just it's square Pluto anyway, and then the sun is going to move into Taurus the next day in square Pluto. I say that an earthquake is very, very, it's possible that the earth can shift with that eclipse activity. The, the fact that it is on that cusp of the of Taurus and Earth sign, which is um, having, it, which is involved with the Pluto, which is going to be working on humanity for the next 20 years, which it could, could include Earth changes and human beings having to figure out how to live day to day, which is, would, would be great. Anyway, I'm a Plutonian person, and so um, I will be lighting up um, an expression uh, during that time, let alone because that. Well, everybody in my with with Pluto and Libra, my my generation uh, is Pluto and Libra. I say, um, and it's our time. You know, if you haven't been immersed and submerged in relationship hell, and and or you were and you made it out because over the last uh, fourteen years or so is the Pluto and Capricorn, which was very hard. If, if you went it alone, then as a, a prominent Libra, you're probably safe. Um, not in relationship hell. If you ask me, a person with five planets in Libra, um, I can't think of anything more hellacious than being locked, entangled with some people that you just don't find that they appreciate you or that you can be feel good there or anything like that really I mean you're just being tolerated perhaps or uh, hey I don't mean to be like uh, mean but I, I'm just saying in general you know um, there's a lot of other things that we're doing but then when there's the um, the place where people go um, and call it love if if they're not um, See, that's the thing about the handicap of narcissism is that you can't tell it's there because they're perfectly up, upright and cool and everything. And then there's a game that they're playing with other people's lives about that. You know, they hold up these things and say, well, we're going to we're going to do this when there's so much to work on. I'm not saying that um, you got to be perfect when you get in love. And you just what I'm saying is you better hope love is present so that whatever is perfect will just manage itself out. It will just, it's going to work. Love smooths it all over, smooths everything out. And there is, you know, where we are going to finally get a, get a breather here as our generation of possible lovers, Pluto and Libra, that generation has been weeding through, like I said, um, the, the marriage um, hype kind of thing, you know, uh, it's been kind of rough. We've, there's a 50-50, you know, it's not always the, 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 really the righteous thing going on there. It's, they call it an institution. And uh, anyway, I'm okay, so, but what is it connected to? The financial institution, monetary, it's something that I, I or whatever, and, and anyway, um, so my point is, is that um, Pluto and Aquarius is pulling, it's going to purge more um, into a, the awareness of true love and, and just what we already know about a lot of things, highly scientific, is that people that have chosen the mind um, we, we will see them. There's just two types of people. Those who went, you know, it's going to be evident. You can't have one foot in the mind, live there, and you can't live in reality at the same time. Um, you're, you will have to have made your choice. What I'm saying as a character, somebody who's loyal to something, you can't have one foot there and one foot over there. You, you know, we're going to see people who have chosen mind over reality and vice versa and it's an oil water mix and, and you will be able to under, if you can under, if you can hear what I'm saying you will be able to understand the separation 
why we won't be able to help each other. I mean, how is the mind going to help the mind but to want to keep in pacification and in, in um, the alternate reality, which is, yeah, that's going to happen. It's happening now. You just have to address it. Okay, there's the neon mental ward over there. <laughs> and But over here we have people. It's like a Mad Max scene because, well, the neon mental ward is, is 80%. In, in fact, that is the electronic financial institution now. You better um, have just conformed and there's mad max over there saying no and we're making our own tobacco and medicines and we're still having sex sorry about that love is involved 